good morning to all our next topic is kelly's hamilton theorem okay so what is the definition for kelly's hamilton theorem means every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation so what do you mean by square matrix means a is our square matrix correct huh? satisfy its own characteristic means it is lambda okay so what it is means you write the characteristic equation to get one characteristic equation that characteristic equation we can write it in terms of the square matrix so lambda can be replaced and written in terms of a so that is called as a kelly's hamilton theorem why we use a kelly's hamilton theorem means the reasons are there we can do a verification kelly's hamilton theorem whatever the characteristic equation whatever you get that we can verify it the another case why it is useful for a kelly's hamilton theorem means it is to find out the powers for example to find out the power of a inverse you can find out the power and a power 4 you can find out the power and any other combination it may be any combination a power and 8 plus some 5 a power 7 plus 6 a power 6 etc a plus 1 equal to 0 okay so like this any combination of the term power terms plus single power a inverse and a power 4 everything can be calculated using a kelly's hamilton theorem that is the use for the kelly's hamilton theorem so in this first i will go with one small problem for a 2 cross 2 how we have to do the kelly's hamilton theorem then i will go with 3 cross 3 so the problem one is using a Kelly's Hamilton theorem, find the inverse of the matrix A equal to something the question has been. Normally, how we do the inverse in the school means one by adjoint into the matrix we'll do. Okay, so that we do, but we are not going to do that. They mentioned Kelly's Hamilton theorem. Without using Kelly's, you can you should not do it by the formula. Okay, so what I'm going to write. First, I will write the characteristic equation. A minus lambda i equal to 0. So, for the given question, I will write it. 2 minus lambda 1, 1 minus pi minus lambda equal to 0 normal 2 cross 2 determinant normal multiplication we can multiply it 2 minus lambda into minus pi minus lambda minus 1 is when i write it in simplified form lambda squared plus 3 lambda minus 11 equal to 0 i am getting this equation okay i need not find the eigenvalue eigenvector that and all you need not do at all in this so now what I'm going to do means I'm going to apply a Kelly's Hamilton theorem because they have mentioned do it by Kelly's Hamilton theorem. So, so by Kelly's Hamilton theorem, okay. So now this all this lambda it can be written in the a form so a square plus 3a minus 11 equal to 0 your kelly hamilton is lambda is replaced by a okay so that only i have written in this okay this is called kelly hamilton theorem from this only whatever power we need, we have to use this equation only find out your whatever the power it is asked in the question. So, first step, it is asked to find the inverse. Inverse is nothing but A inverse. Okay, A inverse I need. So, I need the term A inverse means pre-multiply by A. Okay. So, multiply or normal I will say. Okay, multiply the given equation by multiply by a inverse throughout this equation okay when i multiply it when i multiply a inverse it is a plus 3 correct huh? minus 11 a inverse i have not done anything i multiplied this equation 
okay this equation by a inverse okay one equation i am multiplying by a inverse okay i got this equation now i need the answer a inverse only i have to find a inverse you bring to the other side remaining every term okay to the another side okay so 1 by 11 into a plus 3 into i okay so this is our a inverse by a k layer so now a it is in the question 3 i i is nothing but unit element so when you add this i will get a inverse directly so that only i'm going to do the calculation 1 by 11 a is the given question okay so the what is the given question 2 1 1 minus 5 plus 3 into unit element so 1 0 0 1 to add this both 5 1 1 minus 2 so a inverse is this the answer check the question now they have mentioned find the a inverse now we have found the A inverse. Normally, everyone know what is the formula, you know. Shortcut, what is the formula for A inverse? 2 cross 2. 1 divided by adjoint of A. Adjoint of A is 11. So, normal matrix multiplication means what do you do? In the diagonal element, only interchange the element. Opposite to diagonal, when you have only negative, you will change it. So, when you have the elements, this you have to change it. So, 1, 1 only. It is no change here. Uh, 2 minus 5 was the question. So, 5, 2. So, that only your normal formula, whatever you use, the same A inverse, when you use the KD simultan also, you will be getting. But you should not use the normal formula. You have to use the KD simultan only to find out A inverse, A power 4, any combination it is asked. So, next video will be your 3 cross 3 KD simultan theorem. Thank you.